My boy, Rico Hines, is back with another run. We're getting to this one early. It's almost midnight Eastern time. James Harden's on your screen right above me with the hoodie on, the sleeveless hoodie. You got James Harden here, Jaime Jaquez. He balled out in the last run. Jared McCain, Kavon Looney, UCLA Roots. I believe the Sixers are on the farther court, so we'll see them in the next game. But as far as the open run, it's going to be mostly L.A. guys, I believe, because they're playing here as well. So you got Harden with the rock in his hands. There's Kavon Looney defending him. Jaime Hawkins is on the court. Johnny Juzang is out there. He just grabbed the board. I think I see Cam Christie on the court. Prospect Clippers drafted this year. I think he's got some nice upside. Of course, his brother across the way plays for the Lakers, Kobe Brown, another Clipper, and the Sixers in the background. So let's get groovy. And listen, bro, some of y'all were all my ass last video about pausing the run too often, so I'm going to do my best. Easy buckets for Hawkins. Easy buckets. He had a great season last year. He's going to be a good player for a long time. He's got a lot of tools. What? <laughs> Hawkins. Mismatch. Toe tap. Pump fake. Step back. No way. Oh. Okay. You got to hit that. Hawkins and Harden. Good pass. No bullshit. What's stopping Hawkins from being a star? He's got all the tools. He's got good size. He can handle the rock. He can score off the dribble. He can pass. He does the little things. He rebounds. He defends. All right, so we got the Sixers Summer League A team on the floor. You got KJ out there. Ricky Castle, Jeff Dowd. We get to a bucket from the midi. Ona McCain, it's the A-team. Dalton getting hot. Nope. It's a tough basket right there. No dip. It's a tough basket. Look at Dalton orchestrating. As soon as he gets the ball, orchestrating. Ricky coming to it off of the screen. Step back, KJ. One more. Jared McCain, get active. Ricky to the wing. Dalton for three. Wow. Cash me out. I mean, listen, bro. If he's hitting those and that's tightly contested, Council shot, bro. I like this matchup. Hawkins and Council. This is a good matchup for both of them. Good pass, Ricky. Download a bonus. Did he mean to do that? Screen. Oh, good pass, bro. Good pass. I'm saying, bro, Ricky was passing the ball a little bit better this summer. He was getting to that floater in the middle of the floor. He was shooting the three confidently. A lot of things to feel very encouraged about with Ricky Council this summer. McCain leading the break, pull up three. Couldn't hit that. Put back KJ. Put back KJ. I like that McCain's communicating. Bona off of the dribble, mid-range Jimmy. Mid-range Jimmy. Huh? He had a couple of those in college. You're probably not going to see that too often in the NBA, but. Pick and roll. This is what I love about Bona, bro. This is what I love about Bona right here. This is what I love about him. You know, this guy is not going to create much off of the dribble. He's not going to have the rock in his hands a ton. He might not even play a ton. But when that opportunity presents itself, He's going to play hard. So every possession, you see him screening and rolling hard, rolling hard to the basket. I said this last time, but no short rolls, no pick and pops. Like he is rolling hard to the basket. He's putting a body on somebody. He's boxing out. He's doing the dirty work. Because of that, he's likely going to have a long career. And look at who he's battling with, Kevon Looney. Looney's a great rebounder. 
just creating space for his guard, creating a lay for his guard to get to the basket. Look at him, battling down low with Lou. He didn't grab the board, but it's the effort that counts. That's the stuff that's going to get him on the court consistently. Mismatch. Good defense. See, McCain can hold his own in the post. on defense. Good D. Good D. Good D. Good D. Lou, good board. Board man right there. Okay, so he's just too strong. He won that battle. He won that time. I mean, K is what? 6'3 on the court? Hawkins is 6'6, six, 6'7. Six, six, so Hoodie James is back on the floor. Hawkins for three. At eight? Mo Pamba. Mo Baba with the one all around. Okay, Mo. <laughs> okay, Mo. And I see Derek Jones Jr. out there. They got the whole Clipper squad here. I think Kawhi was somewhere hiding in the in the back in the last video, in the last one. DJ, good lay. Great run with Dallas last year. We got paid, bro. Great run with Dallas. But that was my point in the last video about the Sixers and trying to find guys organically through the draft two ways and developing these guys because Derrick Jones is a great example. Dallas needed a player who can stand in the corner, knock down the three ball, defend guys his size, defend guys that were some of the better players on the other teams. He was asked to do a lot. You know, Luke and Kyrie, they're going to do a bulk of the scoring and a bulk of the carrying, but you need more players in the playoffs. It comes down to your supporting cast as well. Derrick Jones is a great example, and he got paid. The Clippers, I'm sure, are, are, are paying him based on that. You know, James is going to do his thing. Kawhi is going to do his thing, but they're strengthening the, the, the core around them. Uh... Hawkins can do it all, bro. He can shoot the three rock, he can handle, he can pass, he can score all over the court. There goes. Corner. Kobe Brown. Kobe. Kobe. Hit that. Mink. Mink. I mean, he was big time for Dallas. Think about it. But at the same time, that's why I like Clay for the Mavericks. You know, I've seen people say Clay isn't a great fit for the Mavericks. I don't understand why. Kyrie and Luka are going to do the bulk of the scoring, the bulk of the ball handling. All Clay has to do is sit in the corner and hit the three ball. That's really it. And last year, it was Derrick Jones for him. Good bucket. It was Josh Green occasionally. It was P.J. Washington until his shooting numbers fell off. You know, there's no reason Clay won't be able to benefit. Oh, my God. He just violated the young bull, bro. That dude has to be in college. You got to get get back after that. And they're wiping the f Oh, my God. Good defense, Cam Christie in a stance. I like Cam Christie, nice prospect. Man, these dudes are getting clamped. These dudes are getting clamped. No shot. Him. Really? Let me see something, James. Switch. Beautiful pass. Bro, he's tough. He's tough. He's super tough. I mean, one of the best passes of all time. Watch this. Pick. Switch. Mo Bama's rolling to the basket here. Watch this pass. 
Up fake, bounce right on the money, leading Mo Bamba to the basket, one of the best passers of all time. Good pass. Cam Christie, this dude's an athlete, and he can shoot the three ball. I think he'll be a nice 3 and D. Transition, bounce, good finish. Two-handed dunk, leaper. Get the body up. One-handed bounce, wing, Derrick Jones Jr. Splash. Cam Christie. I'm talking about this dude being 3 and D. Come on, bro, you gotta do better than that. Only as good as your last run, and Derrick Jones Jr., his last run with Dallas was phenomenal. I think that instilled a lot of confidence in him, especially playing with guys like Luki. He's always been a confident hooper, just knowing his background and his whole upbringing and working hard. Through some different situations, but I think that was a great signing for the Clippers, especially if they want to stay competitive. Just take some of the load off of Kawhi defensively. <laughs> And playing off of a guy like James who's going to generate a ton of open looks. It's a shame, bro. I would have liked to see more from the Sixers, the A team and the B team. It looks like they're on the foremost court. But from what it seems, they didn't do a whole lot of winning during these runs. Because they're not on the winner's court. They were only on this court once, and I didn't see anything from the B team, which would be... David Jones and Tucker, etc. Don't look at my recommended, bro. It's straight brain rot. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, it's pretty late on the East Coast. But anyway, anytime Rico drops, in August especially, we're on that. So next time I post will be eventually this week. I'm not sure what exactly it's going to be, but I hope you're there for it. Let me know what you thought of this video. And as always, stay solid. I appreciate y'all.